You guys ever have those days where you just feel like putting everything you own on your face? That's how I woke up feeling this morning. So this video could potentially be a lot, but I have two main purposes. The first is I wanna practice a look I have in my head and it's for my office holiday party. I have this really pretty plum dress. So I wanna create a slightly plummy, smoky eye. It's during daytime hours and it's very casual, so I don't wanna go overboard, but I do want to look like just put a little bit of extra effort. So for that, I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, so that's for eyeshadow. And then I have a really awesome foundation to share with you. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I love the Sappho foundation. They remade that foundation and they came out with one that's a little bit more full coverage. So I have the more full coverage one. It is awesome. So you're gonna see a demo of this and some of my initial thoughts, but let's go ahead and I'll tell you what I have in my face so far. I did my skincare routine first thing this morning, so it's been a while, and I just wanted to add a little bit of moisture back into my skin. So for primer, I use the Fit Glow Redness Rescue Cream. This is the one that has the green mineral tint. So I'm getting a little bit of moisture and then that green helps to cancel out the appearance of redness. And then for eyes, I use the NARS Pro Prime all over my lids. Okay, let's talk about the foundation. It's called the Sappho New Paradigm Liquid Foundation. I was sent this by Nucia, which is where I get my Sappho products from about three-ish weeks ago, and I've been really enjoying it. I have shade three, which corresponds to the original foundation in Leisha. That was the name of the foundation color. Such a great color match for me. It's like my skin tone, slightly more neutral yellow, which I think really helps to counteract the redness in my skin. The packaging is gorgeous. It's silver and it comes in a glass bottle now, which I like. The only thing I would change is that I wish you could depress the pump halfway. I think a pump and a half is like my perfect amount of coverage, but it only goes the whole way down. So I either get two pumps, a little bit too much product, or I use one pump and then just use a little bit more concealer. It's a thicker cream foundation, so for application, my favorite way is to use a buffing brush. This one is from e.l.f., and the product dries pretty quickly, so for myself, I found working in sections is what's best for me. So I start on one cheek, I press the product around, and then I use light little buffing motions to blend it in. Go to the other cheek, then my forehead, then whatever is left I'll use on my nose and chin. Sometimes I do get leftover brush strokes since it is a little bit thicker. So I like to take a damp sponge and just lightly press it around and that gives me a very kind of seamless finish. If I was comparing it to the original foundation on a scale of one to 10 coverage wise, I think the original was three, four. This is more like a five, six. It does a great job of covering redness, but I still can see a couple of my freckles poking through, but like the original foundation, it wears so well. And something I have found with a lot of natural foundations is that they start to almost look better throughout the day. Even when I go to take off my makeup at night, my eyes might be a mess, my lips might be a mess, but my skin still looks really good. And I think that this one wears even better around my nose, which is my trouble area. This one wears even better than the original. To camouflage my dark circles, I used some of the Fit Glow Beauty Eye Bright, which is a yellow tone corrector. And then on top of that, I took just a tiny amount of the Sappho Concealer and Light. If I use small amounts of both of these products, I don't have a huge issue with creasing, but I have to set them both with the RMS Unpowder, still the absolute best setting powder ever. To set the rest of my face, I use this powder from Sappho in the shade Fair. It's a light amount of coverage, not a ton of coverage, at all, but it works great to set the foundation that way. Whatever bronzer, contour, blush I put on top goes on really smooth and not patchy. I did feel like contouring today and I pulled up my Old Faithful. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This contour powder, still my all time favorite. And to apply it, I used a new brush. This is from Terry Mia here and it's the number five. Since I have slightly larger cheeks, I think this is the perfect size. And you want, it's kind of hard to see, but it does come to a slight point and it just makes it really easy to apply the product right underneath my cheekbones. For bronzer, I applied the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I just kind of went with it. It is so gray and wintry outside. I felt like I needed just a little bit of extra color. And then for my first blush, I use the Sappho, I think this one is called Tootsie, if that is incorrect, I will put the right one down below, but this is what it looks like. I focus that mostly on the back of my cheeks, and then I'm gonna go in with one more blush, but before I do that, I wanna add a little bit of cream highlighter. I picked it up on an e.l.f. stipple brush, and I'm gonna place it right at the top of my cheekbones and a little bit at the end of my brows. I'm also gonna use my finger to apply just a little bit of this to my cupid's bow. 
To really amp up that cream highlighter, I'm gonna to top it with a powdered one. This is another huge favorite. This is the Narcissus Unfiltered One Palette. So this is the one with the red cover. I'm gonna take the highlighter in this palette on a fan brush. This is from Terry Miyahira. And I'm just going to lightly dust this right where I put that cream highlighter. While I have this palette out, I'm taking a slightly smaller blush brush and picking up the shade directly next to the highlighter. This one is a little bit of a peachy apricot color, and I'm only applying this to the apples of my cheek and then blending it into that blush I already have. Since I'm going slightly cooler on my eyes, I think this is really pretty to add just a hint of warmth to the cheeks. Okay, that's it for the face. I'm gonna move it just a little bit closer and start working with the Modern Renaissance palette. First thing I'm doing is taking the matte cream color in the palette called Tempura, and I have this on the Blending Bestie brush from MOTD, and I'm just using this basically to set the primer and also take it all the way up so I don't have to put on extra highlight later. When I normally use this palette, I use Burnt Orange as my crease color, but since I want things to be slightly more plummy, I think I'm gonna use Bon Fresco, still using that same Blending Bestie, Blending Bestie, I love the names of these MOTD brushes. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit amount of that, a little amount of that right on the tip, and then take it from my outside corner and start to blend it into the crease. Normally I take crease colors all the way into the inner corner, but for this look, I wanna keep the darkness on the outside corner. So I'm bringing it in halfway and just kind of fading it in slightly. For the inner portion of my lid, I've mixed together Vermeer and Tempura. So one's more shimmery, one's more matte. I want more of a glow, less of a shimmer, if that makes any sense on this inner portion. And I'm also gonna take it a little bit around my tear duct. I'm gonna flip that same brush over and go into a shade I never use. It's called Venetian Red. And I'm gonna start, start slowly and build up the color as I go. So I'm gonna press this shade right in the outside portion of my lid. It's looking a little bit crazy and a little bit messy. I'm gonna take the corner of my Tarte eyeliner just to give me a guide. And I have a somewhat clean brush and I'm gonna slightly blend this into my crease, just a little amount. And this Venetian red almost acts as a plum when it mixes with that Bon Fresco, I think it was called, whatever I put in my crease. Now that I've blended Venetian Red into my crease, I need to help kind of soften the line between the lighter color. And a really great shadow to do that with is Antique Bronze. So I'm gonna place this right where Venetian Red ends and press it right into the lighter shade. And just spend a little bit of time doing this kind of circular padding motions, and it'll kind of blend on its own. Also taking a tiny bit of Bon Fresco and putting it right at the base of my lower lashes. Think of plum lips my mind immediately goes to the Gressa lip boost in regal probably the easiest to wear plum lip i own so i applied this all over and then i went in with another shade from Gressa. this is called bear this is like a very pink nude it's randomly like the color of my lips almost exactly so i applied this right in the middle just to add a little bit more dimension to my lips okay here's one other lip option normally i would have put a lip liner on first but my battery is dying so i'm racing against the clock this is one of the new mark jacobs liquid lipsticks in the color slow burn and i wanted to show you that i think a deeper nude especially with a little bit of rosiness to it really goes with the more plummy eye i think this is what i'm going to wear today i'm actually getting ready to go we're going to do my gift exchange with my girlfriends and and we're going to lunch first. So I think this one will last really well through lunch. But if you've watched to the end of this video, I'm gonna be hosting my final giveaway for the year. When Nusia sent me the foundation, they sent me a $50 store credit. So if you're interested in entering, you can buy the foundation or anything else you like on their site. I will have all the giveaway rules listed down below. Very straightforward as normal. But thank you so much for watching today. And if I don't see you again before Christmas, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you again very soon.